good one is economics. So to me, there's financial economics and there's people economics. Um, a large part of what I do as a strategist slash sometimes design strategist, depending on how um, arrogant I feel that day, uh, is to figure out what are the what type of budget does the uh, organization have to accomplish the types of goals that they have. That has a huge amount of impact on what you design, what you what you build, and the strategies that you're that you're working with. In fact, uh, more times than not, it's the budget that. Um, sets the tempo for the type of the project um, nearly every time that I'm working on this, uh, these types of projects. The people economics are th uh, the obvious thing. Um, th that's the last of the three questions that design strategists have to solve, which is for whom are you designing this as a strategist? Um, there's a, there's, a, there's a, a, a burgeoning field of being able to measure certain things and stuff, and these people know infinitely more about that, uh, that, that piece of the puzzle. Um, than I, but it's something that stops me in my tracks every time I'm um, getting involved in a project as a strategist. Um, the future is, is really scary and it's really sexy at the same time. Like I don't, I don't understand the the depth and um, all of the opportunities there are to really like jump in the underwear of everybody that's going to be using these types of applications. But it has everything to do with with strategy. If you can't measure the stuff that you're uh, about to create, then you're going to have some, some challenges in, in justifying whether or not the thing is a, is, is a viable tool.